Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! And tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen, just you and me and Teddy Bear. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. Thirteen hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem? Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anyways. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. We're looking for somebody who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Bear in the back room. He knows everyone. We're looking for somebody who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Whee! Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Let's give this a shot. I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Have fun. How can we not? Nice shooting, kid. My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a Mafia hitman. Look! There's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead! Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. 
These rats are going to pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a mistrial and win a souvenir magnet. Hello there, freaky bear head wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. Then we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like, uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. Grrr. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. 
The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. A teddy bear magnet. A token amount of tokens. I never travel without my trusty firearm. I've got an ace up my sleeve. Wow, it sticks! Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play cards? We wanna play cards. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. I'm betting all ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... you... you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, steak charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined! <laughs> Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Better luck next time. Sucker! Leave me alone. Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play cards? Talk to you later. Wanna play cards? It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the Toy Mafia to make smoking fun. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it! A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. The magnet wouldn't look good. Buffet closed for a semi-annual food change. Sorry, Max. Ah. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. Let us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any Mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia Admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. The password is... Rosebud. Nope. The password is... Password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. We'll be back. Like I care.
You're on fire. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. There's over 10 million tokens here. Bonjour. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg! These are not American dollar. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at Ted E. Bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisement. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes sir! Where we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? <laughs> you may enter. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? <laughs> you may enter. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes sir. Give me the password. 
Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter 